Hey, uh, Brian here from QuantLabs.net. I'm going to show you some very, a very cool application that is supposedly production ready. I think it is. Uh, it's using object oriented programming and it's a full, kind of a pretty sophisticated portfolio analysis uh, system. There's a, almost an hour webinar on it. Um, also, there's code for it. Uh, so I'm going to show you this, uh, but uh, this was done four years ago, I think this code was posted. So you'll see some people are saying that it's incompatible with the current version of MATLAB, which is true. There's this comment here, uh, so you can still get it working if you manually import uh, from Excel, and that is true. And let me show you what I've done. Okay, so if you come in your MATLAB, uh, I'm in 2014A. I've got this little uh, spreadsheet here uh, called Test um, XLS. So basically, what this is just six uh, stocks, and I've taken all the closes. I've manually created this uh, just for demo purposes. And the key is the uh, length. Of the, this worksheet has to be the same. You cannot have uh, blanks in this spreadsheet, otherwise this uh, MATLAB application will fail. Okay, so you can manually create this through different means. .NET, MATLAB itself can do it. However you want. All right. So what I've done was there is this program. You'll find that in the portfolio tool. This guy right here, it's, it's a huge program or a huge file or a huge script. So there's like 2,000 lines, 2,500 actually. And then there's this other one as well. Uh, but, but he goes through the entire, uh, the entire application. Um, so let me run it. Okay, portfolio tool. So we're running here. Okay, so here's the application. Now, Yahoo Finance, I'm sure it could be manually corrected to get it working. I'm not, I don't really care about that at this point. I do care about Excel. So there's the spreadsheet I wanna try out, the one I just showed you. I'm gonna browse. Um, believe, it's maybe this one, uh, yeah. So I believe we can import the data. No, maybe, oh, there we go. Um, so again, these are all the closing prices. I accept the data. Uh, and then I can add in what, what is shown in the webinar, all these different um, parameters. So let me just pick one exponentially. Well, let's just keep that. Um, and then what we can do is we can compute the efficient frontier. All right. So remember, if you don't, if you have any blanks, this is where that step will fail. So if you go under uh, results, uh, I believe maybe just uh, compute. Uh, efficient frontier. Hmm. Continuing along, I ran into an error. So uh, with that spreadsheet, uh, what I did was I had to remove Google. Uh, just do the, the the spreadsheet wasn't consistently uh, sized the correct way. So everything's all fine. Just remove Google from this. So it's now down to six symbols. Um, everything works fine. You can import data. See uh, Excel running the background there. Everything's all good. Okay, so now we can accept the data. Uh, use logarithmic or whatever. We compute the uh, efficient uh, the efficient frontier. And as the demo says, these are all the stats and all the fun stuff that you can get from, uh, from this. 
Um, if you get a better, more sophisticated way of building a spreadsheet, I'm sure you get the complete data. I just want to show you that this can run. And just generate your report, builds an Excel spreadsheet as demoed in that webinar, as well as a PDF. It's very cool. You can build a pretty nice automated way of building a nice portfolio analysis on top of all the other portfolio optimization demos that I've shown. Um, this is the power of uh, MATLAB, to be honest. It's pretty, it's pretty solid. Um, just wait. Oh, here's our uh, PDF here. That's a solid PDF, the one snapshot. Um, and uh, everything's working. Uh, I'm sure Excel is running in the background. No matter. Um, but uh, all's good. Um, just wanted to show you that and uh, the tips and tricks to get it working, So sort of. <laughs> Talk to you later.